is it on? Well, hey guys, welcome to Planet Nomads. I think this game is an old game, so uh, let's go. Who knows? Interest with beacons. Uh, loading active blo blocks. Oh, nice cutscenes. In 2065, mankind discovered unknown technology that enabled interstellar travel humans who were finally able to explore near stars. Years later, scientists received a strange, inexplicable signals from the constellation Eridanus. <laughs> Eridanus. Research suggested the existence of nearby ex exoplanets, possibly capable of sustaining organic life. In 20 80 semi commercial vessels. I need to enter. Let's pause that. Oh no, the dogs. Whoever destructive anomalies damage the ship and survivors are falling, forced to escape. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hibernation recovery complete. Welcome back. My name is Joy and I am your AI advisor integrated within your suit. Please leave the stasis chamber. Alright. An energy surge of unknown origin has shut down the ship's stabilizers. Oh, well, it just kind of reminds me of Subnautica, but I'm kind of happy that it's still stable in my computer. Oh, crunch. You are the only successfully awakened technician on board with the necessary qualifications. The damaged stabilizers must be repaired immediately to prevent the ship's uncontrolled descent into the atmosphere. Wait a minute, there's something about looting there. No, so I guess not. Ship is for uh, running and space bar. Cool. Cut back with what? TT. Okay, okay. Break it, bro. Okay. Left for fixing. <laughs> Why can't I fix this then? Can you press H. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have detected multiple injuries. Please continue to the nearby infirmary. That's convenient. Whoa, oh, pretty huge. I got a ship over there. Bandage bandages. <laughs> oh I have to hold. Uh, your biometrics in the left button of the device shows you are here to fix, so can I... Drag on manage from inventory to the slots in your hotbar. Cool. Life function stabilized. Is there more? Okay. Nope. So there are other people, okay, never mind, there are no people. Dude, come on, dude. 
this gonna hurt? Okay, hovering. Integrity at 63%. Electrical die. grid overloaded. Please be careful when working with high voltage circuits. Continue, you need to restore the energy in this section. Both the local generator and backup battery were discharged 131 days ago. According to available records, the ship's propulsion system started deteriorating after it reached the planet's orbit and eventually all control over its movement was lost. Individual systems gradually failed and the integrity of the hull was damaged in the front section of the ship. The last record from the black box indicates that the captain attempted an unsuccessful manual course correction. Then the captain separated the cargo and colonization parts of the ship to protect them from the imminent explosion of the bridge. Energy in the workshop has been restored. Cool, cool. I'm doing it, guys. I have no idea. This vehicle needs a cockpit. Made a 3D printer by pressing it. E, okay. Cockpit. I think I got the materials needed to make this one so I would now can I just can I just take everything instead of just
It's the pit, oh damn it. There we go. I know that fits. Enter the vehicle pressing E and drive to the maintenance hall. Oh my god, this is so cool. The Anita is carrying the active crew and exactly 10,000 colonists to their new home. The objective of this expedition is to establish a research and mining colony. The main goal of the Congenia Technological Consortium is to establish a self-sufficient community and a safe trade route back to Earth. You know, this kind of science fiction thing is kind of nice. Back then everything was science fiction with the cell phones being so tiny and the phones being wireless, everything. Now it's all real. So we can't say about this one. I mean, sooner or later, there's going to be... This is gonna came true. Kind of like the moon mission today when NASA is deciding to go back to the moon. So yeah. Stabilizers failing. Hull integrity at 38%. Ship scans show that the main stabilizing generators were put out of commission by an energy wave of extraterrestrial origin. The epicenter of this wave is located directly on the planet's surface. So yeah guys, everything's gonna come true. It depends, um, how about you guys, do you wanna live in, Ma in the moon or the Mar in Mars? May I mean, space travel someday would be great. So yeah. Many will wouldn't like it since we have already had dirt, but it's kind of cool to have other options, you know, just in case. So human race won't go instinct. Just saying. Pressing right click. Backup generators offline. Please insert fuel cells. Ship stabilizers online. Uncontrolled descent terminated. Flight path optimized. Okay, what's happening to me? Pay attention or bring up your green status at the bottom left. Radiation levels increasing. Please leave the area.
Radiation levels normal. Unable to establish connection with the main computer. To receive mission update, you will have to link to the main AI core manually. Please proceed to the rear of the ship. Okay, where's the rear? That's the uh, emergency pods. Ship hull damaged. Your suit is not designed for vacuum conditions. The hermetically sealed door cannot be opened because of safety protocols. Unable to find an alternative route, the surrounding rooms are hermetically sealed. Safety protocol failing. Door safety lock damaged. Decompression of this section is imminent. To continue the mission, you must leave the ship. Please use an escape pod. Escape pod launched. Warning, oxygen levels dropping. Uh, you'll survive this. This game sucks. I mean, seriously, it's not. Very interesting game, I like it. Kinda like Subnautica and other survival games. Maybe this game has a story? Who knows? So yeah, I'm gonna make my own turf. My own colony. It would be cool to see this online, but... I'm guessing seeing this game to be online is gonna be difficult. But you can guess by playing Star Citizen, it's an online game. 100 gig man, 100 gig, I cannot play it. Kinda like Star Trek, or makes your kind of feeling gameplay. And for Okay, we're escaping now. Master Chief is landing. Oh, I can see my feet finally. Crew, check your data pad for more for more information. Sorry, guys. Got my got my tongue stuck. Okay. Find crew. Find lost crew from Anita. Sensors detected the signal. Sensors at approximately approximate location in 600 meter radius. Wind scan tool. Yeah, kind of like Subnautica, but everyone is dead. We must, we must face facts. <coughs> Still sick. So cool, I need to... Uh, cool, I like the world. Can I, uh, what's this? Print and build. Build and weld an emergency printer. Can I destroy this? Nice. Wait, I may fix this. Nope. Paramedics in the lab, why don't you have some uh, other visor source? You are hungry and thirsty. Okay, do I have food, eat, and drink to stay hydrated, nourish, and health. healthy? You may use items via hot bar. Bandages, we need this. Oh, water, yeah. Sleeping bag, and zero. Oh yeah, nutrition. 
So, uh, where's that? You are in a well-fed state. Good hydration secured. Okay. So what now? Oh yeah, building that thing. J maybe? No, no. B? Need to build my printer. But where can we build? Near my pod? Yep. Man, just some little part of them under. Yeah, near the rock. Okay, there's one. Set up. Oh, I can name that? Wait, uh... Let's name this new... New beginning. Did I spell that right? Okay. So I'll press L for the world map. Okay, so this must be the planet. Can you zoom in? So, uh... Well, I'm gonna end the video here since the tutorial ended. So see you on the next video if you want to see me build some stuff. See you guys and take care.